So I am in Rochester, Minnesota for a meeting, which doesn't start for about an hour. So of course I'm going to Savers. I'm not finding a whole lot in this store. It's pretty bare. So one of my favorite things to... <laughs> So one of my favorite things to do when I'm traveling is go check out the corny roadside attractions. That doesn't get much cornier than that. So, I was driving through a small town and I found a Goodwill. Well, I found this router, $6.99. Uh, I get 26 or 27 after fees used on Amazon. And this, $2.99, I get 24 after fees. Just need to uh, make sure that works. I'll test it when I get home with my iPod. So I fell asleep in the car and my better half woke me up at a Goodwill in Wisconsin Rapids. So some good finds so far. If we get this camera for 10 bucks, I uh, get about 140 after fees on Amazon. I do need the charger. I might have one of those in stock, otherwise they're cheap to order. Uh, this guy here, five bucks, is going for about 28 on eBay. We've got a Walkman, really nice shape, five bucks, going for about 20 to 30. Now this, Back to the Future, Flux Capacitor, Charger. I was debating if I want to spend that for my own collection, but I looked it up. This thing sold recently on eBay for 130. So my other half found me a workout shirt. Yes, I will be buying that. And then I found this, it's a TI-83, worth about 20 bucks, they want five. Until I open the battery compartment and yeah, I'm gonna pass on this one. All right, I think that's it for this store. I'm seriously excited about this, and it's going to be really tough for me to sell it. But I'll never find another one again. But it's 130 bucks. Screw it, I'm selling it. We're in Stevens Point. She's a little excited to get inside. She's also a ball of energy right now. Um, this wasn't planning to be in a thrift trip, but apparently it's turning into that. So I went to this Goodwill and all I found was crap. Yeah. Here's a brand that I only know of because of Craigslist Hunter. Doesn't seem to be worth a whole lot online, but it's here. All right, last Goodwill of the night, also in Stevens Point. So here's what I've got here. I get about 50 bucks for this Sure Shot Owl date. Uh, I've sold this one many times before. This one, I think it was like 40 or 50 bucks. It's a digital camera. It does work, and I should have a charger at the warehouse for it. Uh, this, these boxes are just gonna get scrapped. These remotes are about 15 bucks each. Um, they're good ones, and that whole set was what, four bucks? So I'll get 30 for that. Uh, this, I'll walk with about 20 after fees. Um, just a joystick, nothing special. There's the price, six bucks. Right here, we've got another film camera. This one's about, I think it was 25. Um, I've sold this one several times before. They're very easy to test, actually. Um, let's see, you pop that open, you put in a battery, and then you push the button. Make sure the stuff does its thing. And now this, it was buried in with those. And I saw the edges, I'm like, that looks like something that would go with a PS2. And it is. It is a screen for a PS2 to make your PlayStation portable. They want five bucks, it does not have the power cord, but this AV cord is included. I don't know if it's proprietary, if it's just a regular AV cord, but um, the power cord shouldn't be too hard to find. If I can get the power cord, it should be a decent value. It's so awkward when I'm filming and look behind me and there's people standing there. That, I don't think I'll ever get over. How's it going everybody, Resale Rabbit here. It is uh, really nice outside. And we're gonna work on one of these storage units. I've been driving the car for the past couple of days because of the weather. Let's lock that. So I had to come here, get the truck and the trailer. And um, I don't think I've showed you this unit yet. 
You saw a little glance at it when I bought it, but that's it. So here is the unit. I paid 330 bucks for it. This looks like a pretty nice dresser. Uh, these are kind of the lower end with still nice tables. I have not set foot in this unit yet. I have no idea what to expect. Uh, that could be a watch or something. Some jewelry, we'll check it for silver or gold, but I'm not gonna hold my breath on it. Uh, that looks like it might have been part of a nicer table or something that might still be in here. Uh, it's just kind of household stuff. We got a little briefcase in there. What's over here? More drawers, a bunch of Christmas cards. It's a lot of stuff in here. This is intriguing. Interest? Oh, I think this is, it's like a knockoff Crosley. I bet I can get 20 bucks for that. Uh, that'll go to Goodwill. What else? Uh, someone left their child in here. We got a backpack here. Sometimes those have decent stuff in them. This looks like a brand new little bookshelf. Could probably get 20 for that. Oh, we got a wheelchair. Um, whole bunch of boxes of stuff. It's nice, there's not a ton of furniture. That almost looks like a bench, like for a booth, maybe. I don't know. Uh, there's not a ton of big, heavy furniture that's gonna suck to move. That might be some money. Let me, can I step on this? Magnavox, there we go. These, about a hundred bucks on Amazon. So that'll be a nice little sell right there. It'll pay for a decent chunk of the cost. So I'm gonna start getting this stuff hauled out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try, this is a Goodwill right around the corner here. I'm gonna try and sort some of it here since it is a nice day and see how much I can just haul to Goodwill. Like this, assuming that's a full box of clothes, these bags of clothes, that can go right to Goodwill. What's up here? Shoes, probably Goodwill. I thought that was a little lockbox in there. Um. That's just going to be trash, it looks like. In the dresser. Okay, dresser's empty. Hidden drawer on top. Sometimes you find good stuff in dressers when they're full. Oh, you never know. There might be some jewelry or something in there. Oh, it's just a file cabinet. Some shoes. So what I say? I paid three thirty, I think. Uh, I have notes, which I looked at before I told you the first price. Set of lamps, there's a suitcase down there. So, we'll dig through it, see what we find. I'm gonna see how much of this I can get hauled out in one trip. We'll take a trip to Goodwill around the corner and then one trip to the warehouse. I think we'll still need multiple trips to the warehouse, but you never know. So I'll start digging and I'll let you know if I find anything interesting. So we made a little bit of a dent. This is all Goodwill, it's almost entirely clothing. That is trash. This is personal effects papers and photos and everything. We are able to get these back to the owner of this unit. Uh, this is a Goodwill box I'm working on, mostly clothing. So we cleared some space here. I found a camera. It's been a while since I've sold these. I used to be able to get like 40 bucks on Amazon, maybe 20 or 30, maybe still 40. A record, looks worse for wear, but it's worth looking up. This is an Under Armour shirt with the local high school team. Maybe someone will buy that. Uh, this looks brand new. Uh, crock pot, looks like a football. I just opened the box, it's still wrapped in the plastic. I'm gonna have to investigate a little further, but worst case even used, it's worth some money. Over here, I've got a coach purse. A little worse for wear, but I could probably still get 20 bucks for it. And this is all the stuff that I'm keeping here. Uh, there were a few pairs of new shoes, but only singles. I find a lot of single shoes, I wonder that and the wheelchair maybe this lady was an amputee but i found this um it's a little older but i could probably still get 40 bucks on amazon for it that's basically where i'm at so far uh, a couple of bags here that i need to go through i'm just trying to pull the goodwill stuff first looks like there's some albums in there um but i kind of cleared this out that is all vhs tapes that's labeled christmas dishes and it looks like christmas dishes it's a shame a nice plastic flip top tote but I'm not gonna go through it. I'm bringing it to good, straight to Goodwill. And I wanna get through this stuff so I can shove this dresser up along the wall. I'm right now just kind of, oh, and I cleared some stuff out of here too. This file cabinet, uh, it's just personal papers in one of the drawers, the other drawer is empty. I'm trying to get through 
Oh, see those U-Haul boxes? I could use those for Amazon shipments as long as the bottoms aren't all messed up from being on the floor. So I'm just trying to do Goodwill first. I want to get all of the Goodwill stuff on here. And then I can come back for the trash, which is coming to the warehouse with me, and the sellable stuff. This is nice. I thought this was just like a little kid's chair, but it goes all the way down the floor. It's a shelving unit. Um, we've got, is this metal? No, it's plastic. It's made to look like metal. Uh, but a little outdoor table. Probably sell it for the, with those chairs for 20 bucks or something. Uh, looks like a sewing machine down here. Other than that, I really haven't gotten to... Uh, see much else oh is that a stand mixer is that a, is that a KitchenAid stand mixer yes sir it is a KitchenAid stand mixer that depending on the model should be between 50 and 250 uh there's quite a variable on them but um those are nice i've got one on my counter that we never use uh but i had to get it but i only got it cheap at a garage sale so i'm not too worried I don't know what that thing is. All right. It looks like there's going to be a lot of clothing and stuff in these boxes. So it should be pretty quick to uh, get it emptied out. That might be kitchen. -related. This might be one of those mini Coca-Cola fridges. What's this? Medical stuff, maybe? Urinary catheter. For here's, so here's what I gather. I found needles, but I also found insulin, so I'm assuming this uh, this person was diabetic and not a drug user. I haven't found anything that, even if I was being judgmental, would make me think they're a drug user. Um, there's, in that file cabinet, there's a bunch of funeral stuff. You know, the little cards with the person's picture and a poem. Uh, a stack of them from, it's from 2007, so um, probably for quite a while ago. But a lot of medical stuff, it could be saved from whoever passed away in 07. I'm not sure. I always try to see if I can figure out the story on these. Um, that wheelchair does look newer, though. Although I'm not an expert in wheelchairs either. So we'll dig through this stuff some more and see what we can find. A little more progress in. I found a cult membership kit here. Uh, but usually these get-rich-quick things are uh, worth some decent money. Um... What else? Some of this is trash. This is basically stuff going back to the warehouse, either trash or good selling stuff. Um, so this was full of records. Oh, that's personal photos too. That's a $55 book, 55 after fees on Amazon. Also some nicer pan sets that we're gonna put together. There's the KitchenAid. There were some other textbooks in here, nothing of value. So that's where I'm at now. I don't think I have much else to report. Uh, found a little more costume jewelry. Well, what I assume is costume jewelry. We'll look through it. A um, couple of movies, Apple Core, some boots. I don't think there's really a briefcase. Uh, it had some personal photos in it. I took those out. I'm going to sell the briefcase. Speaking of which, this thing is nice. So it's got the top lifts up like a chest. And then these that pull out, these are wooden photo albums. There's another one right there. I would like to sell it, but honestly, the time it would take to take all of their photos out, it's just not worth the 10, 15 bucks I would get for it. So we're just gonna give it back to them as it sits. Ah, uh, stuff like that is just going to the dumpster. Some of the medical stuff we can sell, some of it we can't. Uh, I still need to go through those. Looks like a nice wood bench here. Uh, this table will probably go to Goodwill. And that's pretty... Uh, did I show you this? All records. A um, couple of bags of them right there. Looks like an older briefcase down here. So, that's where we're at. On the trailer, the floor space is about half full. I'm not going to stack it too tall. Um, we're basically just going to do like one layer along the floor. I might try to just dump that into something because those Instacrates are nice. I kind of want to keep it for myself. Um, what else? Some crappier pots and pans and kitchen stuff. This is all the Goodwill stuff. Like this lamp, we really can't sell floor lamps unless they're nice. They don't really sell for much, uh, if they sell at all. Out here, these two boxes are also Goodwill. There's some more, it looks like two similar sets of pans. Um, stack and then the box of personal. 
garbage again. This is my stuff, by the way, gloves, garbage. Oh, a couple of cast iron pans. They're unbranded, but probably still get 10 bucks for the set, maybe five. So trailer is full, full of Goodwill stuff. I'm starting to load stuff back in now. I'm gonna go get that. That's not all the Goodwill stuff, but right now we've got a lot of stuff coming back to the warehouse that um, is kind of in the way. So we're gonna do this Goodwill run and we're gonna do a warehouse run. Made a little progress back here. Most of these boxes were boxes of stuff just worth looking through. Um, so we'll look through those later. I got rid of a lot of blankets that were stacked up there. Um, so this looks like it might be like a kitchen table. Maybe it has a glass top. Uh, and we've got, that case looks interesting. I kind of want to get to it right now. Oh, these are upside down. It's a typewriter. I don't even need to open it. So, little shelving, oh, you can't see little shelving unit there. There must be a couple more dressers in here. A uh, little table. Never really looked at what was in this. Oh, it's wedged in there, that ain't going anywhere. But we got some chairs here that would match a different type of table. This is a mattress, but it's all ratcheted. I could probably get it right in the dumpster. There's gotta be, cause I'm seeing drawers like this. A whole bunch of them, so that's gotta be a dresser. I'm seeing that style, so that's gotta be a second dresser. And then, ah, uh, there's a white one over there. So a third dresser. And then the main one that uh, we looked at by the front. So there's gotta be four dressers in here. I don't see them anywhere, so we might just end up with a bunch of drawers. But you never know if there's one buried in here somewhere. That might be a kitchen table, because that looks like feet. I have no idea. Um, I don't know where there would be any more dressers, but you never know once we get through a little bit. So I'm going to get that dropped off. And then this whole wall just about is coming back to the warehouse with me, as well as a bunch of the stuff up front. So that'll clear enough space where I can dig a little bit more. Got that all dropped off. I went inside, grabbed myself a water and a bathroom break. They were really nice at this location. They kept thanking me for everything and it's nice. The Goodwill I usually drop off at, I mean, it depends who's there, but they're not nice sometimes. All right, let's get back over there and haul some stuff to the warehouse. So I got to keep my Instacrate and I found a brand new with tags pair of pants. Um, while I was pulling the boxes out at Goodwill, uh, looks like 46 bucks retail, sold at 70% off. We'll take that 70% off tag off very easily and uh, put this in the warehouse sale. Get decent money for it. All right, let's start emptying this out. I wanna get this dresser first, then all the personal effects we can just stack up right there. Made some good progress here. So all this stuff looks like it's gonna be Goodwill, mostly clothing. I'm gonna need some boxes to transfer that in. And I did find this uh, poster. It looks like a Beatles ticket. Oh, I'm out of breath. I'm moving fast because I might be able to get another trip in. That's all personal effects. In this particular case, we're just leaving them in the unit. We've got a lot of boxes to go through yet, but we got a lot of stuff out. So the trailer is full. This is all either good sellable stuff that we're keeping, boxes that have an even enough mix where I'm gonna go through it at the warehouse, or garbage like that mattress. I'd say we got at least half of it out, if not two thirds. So I'm gonna get this, that's a Goodwill box. I'm gonna get this stuff back in. We'll get this unloaded and hopefully I'll be able to get another trip tonight. So there's absolutely no way I'm gonna be able to get another trip in. It's already starting to get dark. I'm just getting to the warehouse. So I'm gonna get this emptied out. I'm gonna empty out my car from all the stuff that I picked up on the trip over the weekend and then probably call it a night. It is about 8 a.m. I decided to unload the trailer this morning so I'm back at this unit. We're gonna try and get this one emptied as much as we can today. It's gonna to start raining in about two hours. So I don't know how much time I'll have, but if you remember, this is the one with the safe um, that we're hoping to find a key for and all that stuff. We're gonna get as much as we can loaded up. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make two trips just because it's supposed to start raining at 10 and it's gonna rain all day. 
So we'll see. We'll get what we can though. So we're making some progress here. I don't think I'll get it in one trip. I'm gonna try. If it's not a lot, I've got one of those two units. So I can just shove the last of it in like the mattress or something. Um, I wish I showed you this before. I filled in boxes, but this antique dresser actually has some drawers on the top. That one's empty. This one's locked though. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to pick that lock if I can't find the key. I don't know if there's anything in it or not, but, and then this little detail piece is missing, but I don't think that's a big deal. Otherwise it's in really nice shape. I didn't even think it was an antique. I would have thought like 1960s until I looked at the back, which again, I can't show you, but yeah, you can't really see that, but it's definitely an antique, very old dresser. Well, trailer's full. I mean, I could add more stuff on top, but it's not really gonna help much. Uh, we got most of it out here. I grabbed every box that looks like it might have the key to that safe in it. So hopefully we find it uh, just in case I'm not able to get a second trip out today. Um, so what do we have left? Most of this looks like trash. Um, we've got some sockets and stuff. Husky. And this looks like new. This might be new. Um, antique saw, some ratchet straps, another saw, antique chair. We got this rifle stand. I think I'm gonna grab this too, just in case that has keys and that. Um, we did find some brooms to sweep this out. A couple of microwaves, the bed. It's tough to say the condition the bed's in, if I can give it away or if I'll need to dump it. Uh, but that's about it. There's some other odds and ends. There's still some sellable stuff in here, but uh, we got most of it out. Found some neat stuff just from what I saw. Got an antique step stool there. Some other odds and ends. So I'm gonna get this unloaded and depending on how the weather looks, I'm gonna try and come back and get the rest of this today. I still have the one from yesterday about half full. And then I've got the one, another one, a couple doors down. It's mostly just trash left in there and that giant stove. But um, so that's where we're at right now. All right, just dropped a box of liquor in the dumpster. And uh, it's not raining yet, so we're gonna go get another trip out of there. We should have it emptied in this one, no problem. I grabbed some garbage bags, uh, which I had to pull out of the garbage. My cleaning lady puts extra bags in the garbage cans so we can you know, swap it out easily. Well, my roll of garbage bags is in the unit I was at yesterday. I left it over there because I was hoping to get another trip in. There, the seatbelt dinger was beeping. I edited that out. So anyways, I, um, words and things, uh, left, I grabbed some garbage bags out of the garbage and, uh, some more empty totes. We're going to get this one emptied out now. All right. And this one is officially empty. Got the trailer loaded up. Now I need to grab something out of this one over here. Take a little walk with me. I sold that display case for 60 bucks. So it's on wheels, it'll be nice and easy. Gonna wheel it out and fit it in the trailer. I gotta deliver it. I don't like delivering stuff, it's never really worth my time. So they gave me an extra 10 bucks for delivery. I, I was listed it for 50, but this is something that is a tougher sell and I want it out of here. So that's, that's the next step. I'm gonna get all of this that I need to go through yet too. Most of it is just trash out. It's a little bit of furniture, a couple other odds and ends, but most of it is like this, where it's just trash. So I got it in, but I had to leave this bag of trash here. So we'll save this for another day. So I found the key. It was in the uh, in the desk. Let's see what's in here. Well, I can get thrown out. All right, so we've got some personal papers. Looks like checks. A whole bunch of checks. I'm gonna check these envelopes for cash. That's just another box of checks. We've got a condom. Uh, and then down here, a knife, old timer. old money clip this is the hardware for the safe we've got a watch probably not worth much 
We've got a chain here. Doesn't look like gold though. Oh, I can't grab it to, okay, this isn't working. All right, it wasn't gold. Uh, let's see, we've got a credit card. And the knife, I presume. Doesn't look like anything too special. Yeah, Boy Scouts of America. We've got another knife. Again, not anything too special, but nice looking. A watch. Harry Dalton. Never heard of it. Again, I don't expect it to be worth a whole lot. It looks to be engraved. I love you now and forever. Alright, I'm trying not to just reach in here and grab. This looks to be another knife. Oh, what's the box say? Yeah, I doubt that's worth much. What else do we have in here? Another knife. It's just the knives will do well. Some pens and some junk. We've got another knife, not worth anything. Let me get a flashlight in here so I can actually see what I'm doing. And that looks to be, oh, there's a ring. Right here. I have to get off the floor before I look closely at that. Another little pocket knife. Let's see if there's anything under the felt on either of these. And two more knives under the felt. So I'm gonna take a look at this ring. I've probably got know, 20 bucks worth of knives and the safe uh, that has the key, we can sell that. Probably get another 20, 30 bucks for that. And the ring is marked 925 sterling silver. So nothing too exciting in the safe. I've never had a really exciting find in the safe, uh, but usually there's not even valuables. This time we've got some money here. So we've got a whole bunch of stuff we can send to local auctions to sell them. Look what I found in the bottom of the drawer. Well, I think it's the right one. There we go. And, well, at least there's that I can get glued back on. A whole lot of nothing otherwise. I don't know why this one was even locked. But uh, we got ourselves a nice little antique dresser here. This we'll just glue on right there with the key. I found this and I just realized it's marked. Special edition, I don't know if that means anything, but I looked up this brand here. That's not the brand. There's the brand, Dango. It's a tactical wallet. These things are selling for like 50 to 150 bucks. So there's a decent find. We'll uh, get that on eBay. What else? You saw the knives, some random phones. There's this knife. Doubt that's worth anything, but uh, this is a coin bank. It's kind of neat. Watch, feels pretty heavy, but highly doubtful this is worth anything. Hawaiian Lifeguard Association. Maybe I will look that up. And, uh, you know, some new socks. And you saw the gun last time we went through there. That's mostly the Goodwill pile, except I need to look up that book. Correction, I looked up Hawaiian Lifeguard Association watch. Seven used ones have sold on eBay in the last 90 days, ranging from 56 to 175 bucks. That will also go on eBay. What else? I looked up another watch too. This one feels like a nice watch, but I couldn't find any information about it. There were no Harry Dalton watches. Uh, I tried looking at that five ATM. That just sounds like the movement. I didn't look to see if there's any info on the back here. I feel like if it would be engraved, it would be a nicer watch, but I couldn't find much on it. Maybe I'll set it aside until this video goes on YouTube and you guys can let me know. So I was about to hand that watch off to my eBay guy and I remembered I saw a bunch of empty watch boxes and look what I found. I don't know if it's the same one, but 
HLA 5502. Does it say it on here somewhere? Uh, there's 5500. Series 55. So that's probably the box for it. So let's, um, that'll, uh, I can't get that out. That'll definitely up the value of this watch. So this guy definitely enjoyed the finer things. Uh, all the Allen Edmonds boxes right there. Um, oh, it's raining out. Let's just sprinkle it. I can still move the trailer. But between those, I found a ton of like bags and stuff for men's warehouse. A bunch of suits hanging up. A bunch of watch boxes. I would not be surprised if I find some more valuable stuff. More watches would definitely be nice. The more valuable type. Um, but so far, it's just the one. The other watches didn't like seem like too much. But maybe I should look up that cheap one. See if maybe it is something. So the bed that came out of the unit, usually I'll price these if they're not gross at 20 bucks just to get someone to come get it. I've mentioned in other videos that it's more likely to get picked up at 20 rather than giving it for free. This one's actually in really nice shape and it's only two and a half years old. You can see where is it manufactured November of 2017. So I listed it for 50. I'd imagine that would go pretty quick. And this book here gets me 27 after fees on Amazon. Uh, here's the barcode if you want to look it up. Remember that Hawaiian Lifeguard Association watch? Just sold for a hundred bucks. So I don't remember what it was a couple days ago I filmed it. What I paid for the unit was like 330, 350, 320, something in that range. Um that's a nice chunk of that paid for right there. It sold within like 24 hours of being listed. I also found this wallet. We listed it for $69.99. Here's, here's what it looks like. Uh, it's interesting. We listed it as a bifold wallet. It really isn't, but every other listing for this is calling it a bifold wallet. So I don't know. It's more like pockets. Um, he should have got a close up of this here a handwritten number sequence uh, for their special edition. I don't know if that's going to up the value at all. Also, this picture is kind of dark, and I probably would have... Maybe I need to look at some of the pictures he does. Most of them seem fine, but I probably would have done maybe something like that, put a close-up as the main one, or something like that. I don't know. I need to just have a discussion on that. Speaking of which, we're up to 4,231 items. It's 1,730 listings. Current asking price, over 91 grand. And over 10,000 in sales on eBay in the past month. You may have seen it in previous videos. I always had a toner cartridge, a brother toner cartridge sitting right where that brown box is. Well, that wasn't for sale. That's for this printer. And when Tim started, uh, he rearranged everything in here, which I told him to do. I said, arrange it in a way where you'll be able to find the stuff. Um, well, I think he moved that toner cartridge. Uh, I don't blame him. But it's sitting with the inventory and it's something that would make sense to sell. I don't think he listed it because it was in with the inventory. Um, here's a bunch of ink. Well, it's not in here, and I would figure he would have put it next to that. So I'm about 75% sure I didn't use it, so I'm not certain. It may actually be in the printer right now. But anyways, my point in all this is uh, I can't find the toner, and the printer's getting low. I actually found it at a thrift store a while back. I always make note of what my printers need, so if I find it in thrift stores. Anyways, so I'm so bad at remembering things, I left him a note to remind me to ask him a question. Yeah, I would, I'll, I'll totally forget by tomorrow. He will remind me when I come in in the morning, and I'm going to be like, oh yeah, toner, and then ask him. So there's that. So I'm digging through the boxes from the storage unit, and I'm going to cover up some info. Uh, but he was paid $70,000 from a medical supplement on January 22nd of last year. It takes, it was from an insurance company, it takes about six months of being in default for a unit to go up to auction. So that means about eight months or so after he got 70 grand, he stopped paying rent, which is interesting. I thought maybe he passed away, but I looked on Facebook and he had a Facebook post two weeks ago. Maybe a week ago. It was like late February. So that's interesting. And 50 bucks later, the bed is gone.
So if you remember, I got these brand new tennis shoes on a pallet of paper goods for some reason. They actually fit me perfect, and I'm in the market for a pair of running shoes. I looked them up. Uh, I get about, get about 78 bucks on eBay, minus fees, minus shipping. I'm looking at, I don't know, 50 to 60 bucks. That's about what I'd go and pay for a new pair of shoes anyway. And like I said, I needed some. So I will keep these.